Here are the top six reasons why I love my Xbox Series S. It's small, I love the look and design of the system and I actually think it is the best looking of the available next gen consoles. I think it's way better looking than the Series X which has a kind of odd shape and awkward to fit in your setup and slightly better than the PlayStation 5 because it is much smaller and therefore easier to put anywhere you like on your gaming setup. You can legit easily toss this in a backpack and take it to a friend's house to play some awesome Xbox games, it is that small. Also the Series S is way easier to get your hands on as the Series X and the PlayStation 5 get all the attention right now. If you want to grab one and support the channel, click my affiliate link down below to grab one at a great price right now. Speaking of price, it is the cheapest next gen console you can buy at only £250 in the UK or $300 in the US. When this was announced, the low price instantly made it a no brainer purchase for me. That's even less out of your wallet than the Nintendo Switch and makes it much more achievable if you already have another console or were looking to get your hands on a PlayStation 5 also. This leads me on to my next point as the Series S has got to be the best console companion for a PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch setup. If you really have your heart set on one of those platforms to play their exclusives like Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation or Zelda on the Switch but you still want to get in on the Halo Infinite action, the Series S is the way to go. This means you could get an all digital PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series S for just over £700 for both. That is if you can find a PlayStation 5 in stock anywhere. This is really great value as you could get access to all the games next gen console gaming will have to offer for a lot less than I would have expected. Many people were expecting the Series X and the PlayStation 5 to be around £600 or £700 each before we got the official prices. Pairing up the Series S with Xbox Game Pass is its real superpower. The value for gamers goes up even more as for a monthly fee you get access to over 100 amazing games to download and play on your Xbox with new games arriving on Game Pass the day they are released such as Halo Infinite, Forza Horizon 5 and Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you planned on buying all of these games when they released Game Pass would have saved you a small fortune. Also, with this being an all digital console, it's a great way to access a huge library of games at a great price and helping you avoid the sometimes high prices of games in the Microsoft Store, which seem to hold their value for a lot longer than a physical edition of a game would. Make sure you click that subscribe button as we check out lots of these amazing Game Pass games here on the channel. Xbox have made the wise decision to remove the requirement for an Xbox Live Gold subscription to play free to play games like Fortnite, Warzone, Rocket League, Roblox, Paladins and so on. It genuinely makes this the best console for casual gamers who are keeping an eye on their budget. So let's say you want to play Warzone with your buddies but you don't want to spend a small fortune. Well, for £250 you can buy the Series S, download Warzone and play it at 120 frames per second if your TV or monitor supports that refresh rate and never have to pay anything else again. How awesome is that? Let me know in the comments what your favourite free to play game is right now. The new controller is very similar to the previous generation Xbox controller with a few nice changes. The trigger buttons feel much better on the shoulders of the controller, they have much nicer tension in them. The back is textured to help your grip so if you're in a stressful gaming session and you've got sweaty hands you do not need to worry the controller will stay put. But the big change for me which I love is the dedicated share button which you can just press to capture a video clip or image of what happened. This is so much easier than having to navigate in the menus to capture your awesome gameplay which you can then share with the world on social media. 
So do you have a Series S or are you thinking about getting one? Let me know and if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments.